If you're looking to create poses for your AI generated art, take it to the next level with Plas AI. In this video, we're going to be exploring their free uh, get started tool. You can really just import your own image and generate the pose or even move the model yourself. So as you can see in that example, you can really move things and then have the AI do the rest and it generates the different pictures and photos for you. Once you create an account, you're welcome to the page. It says welcome creator. It's really cute. Um, and then there's some quick tutorials and highlights on what everything is. It tells you how to edit the pose, how to move the camera and all that stuff. So I highly recommend you to just check it out yourself to really learn. So once you're in, you can see like the dashboard is pretty easy to understand if you didn't go through the tutorial. Um, on the left, you get a space where you get to upload your own image. So there's an image to pose section, right? So let's say, oh man, I love this like scene in a movie or I love this scene that I generated in a different platform. I'm just gonna upload it and hope to get the same character doing the same pose, right? So let's say you, you want a character who who's fallen, the characters who's um, waving, right? You can get that easily done just by using the image to pose feature. Um, there's different render modes, so fast and then pro. Uh, fast is, uses like one pretty much, like one credit, and then you get your image ratio, uh, one by one and two by three, and then different styles. So styles work like this, where there's comic styles, right? Pastel, um, and all of that available there. And then presets are really cool. They're like existing filters. And if you click on this, it's gonna generate something um, in the prompt section for you. So you don't have to worry about it. You can add things that you want to add easily, right? So I find that really neat. And, um, and then advanced features, including like um, the randomness of the seed and also like the pose weight. So let's say, oh, I really want the pose to be exactly the way I want it. You just make it stronger or weaker. Um, like, yeah, I just kind of want to in inspire, right? So that's where it would be weak. Uh, for new users, you get about like five free uh, generations. You can click on image to pose and then select from your uh, folder that you have on your computer. If not, you can just open it on a different screen and then drag and drop whatever ones that you like, just like so. So let's say I want a pose that she's standing, I can get that. So I uploaded a few of the poses from my images. That's the easiest way to start. The first one um, is just a pose like so. And I have another one where they're standing. Uh, and then we got something like this. I know it looks a bit off. Um, and then we have something like this where it's like more widespread. If you want more of a portrait, you can get it too. You can kind of zoom in as the tutorial showed. So we're going to start with the easiest one, which is like posing freestanding there. And um, we're going to choose some of these realistic presets here, or maybe the fantasy one. And as you can see, there's some additional uh, presets in terms of the character. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Kind of complex there so we can get something interesting so i do believe we get um four variations of each uh, render here and you can see it is in the pose style and it's just slightly different each time and if you don't like this you can change it immediately to a more like comic book real style like so and then choose a preset that you like so let's say i like something like this i'm just going to click on render and we'll get something a little bit better than that option previously. The generation does take about five to 15 seconds, depending on how complex everything is. Um, and then you can see they're not always the best. <laughs> I guess that just depends on the pose and um, the prompt that you have. I'm gonna go back to their original pose just to get something um, easy there and just click on this. All right, so sometimes they do wear clothes and sometimes they don't. So you can see the pose just matches exactly what you sort of dropped in. So um, if you wanna make some changes, you can just go to any of the models that you have. So let's say I don't like the arm being this far away. I can drag it in um, just like so. Just click and rotate like that. Um, you can rotate a lot of things here. 
just like so so then the arm is more out you can fold up the body as well so let's say they're looking like they're falling um you can zoom in zoom out and all that stuff so this is really fun if you just want to spend time figuring this part out before actually paying for it right that's that's what i would recommend just kind of see what works for you and what doesn't you can see here so this is where the pricing pops up it will tell you the starter pack gives you 100 renders at five dollars and then the breakdown of how much it costs um over here a thousand renders at 0 0.8 per image um, one render gives you four options right so that is um if you're looking to create books or comic books and you're just looking to uh, really create different poses this is the way to do it it's it's really unique and um definitely an app worth checking out and again like going to the community you can see the different things that people are able to create with this app um this is a unique way to show the spider there um yeah let me know if you're interested in learning more about this or if you find a better tool that has the image to pose uh, feature uh, let me know how it goes thanks for watching